What's up Guardians? Profane here. Thanks for checking out the video. Tormentors are Bungie's newest powerhouse bad guy in Destiny 2 Lightfall, and today I'm going to go over the best ways to quickly wipe them off the map. These things show up several times throughout Lightfall's campaign and will surely see their way into more content going forward, including the new raid. These things are scary, they're super tanky, they look a lot like a hulked out version of the destroyer from Thor, and they can really be hard to manage while in the midst of combat. So let's take a look at what you can do to easily kick the shit out of these guys. To defeat thy enemy, you must know thy enemy. Tormentor's basic movements and attacks are based on that of Rolk from Vow of the Disciple. When Tormentors first spawn in, they are shielded and take very minimal damage until their two crit spots have been busted, one on the right and one on the left shoulder. Once both spots have been broken, the Tormentor will be freed and will immediately start charging towards you, like a Minotaur would. Tormentors will now have one crit spot that's located on their chest, slightly off-center, requiring you to be pretty precise with your shots. Tormentors have two distance attacks. One is a single Void Wave that's thrown at you, similar to the Black Talon's heavy attack. After repeated hits, the Tormentor can create these Void Whirlwinding Discs that can be hurled at you and will likely be extremely horrific if these things ever show up in Grandmaster. Once the Tormentor is within melee range, he can then swing his scythe at you, stomp the ground, or go into a Berserker Rage, where he relentlessly chases you, then slams the ground with a force push that suppresses. You'll lose the use of your abilities temporarily when being suppressed by the Tormentor. Tormentors have two charged special attacks. One is from a distance, where they do a big Superman liftoff and then slam down in your vicinity. This will push you back and suppress you. And then there's the Fatal Finisher attack where the Tormentor grabs you, pulls you in, sucks your soul, and then throws you to the ground. Tormentors are the true definition of a mini-boss. While these things might be pretty intimidating, they do have some fatal flaws. They are highly susceptible to the effects of chill clip, suppression, blinding, and suspension effects. Weapons with chill clip can break the Tormentor's crit spots after landing just one, maybe two hits. And once the Tormentors are free to run around, chill clip will stun lock them in place for about five to six seconds after just two shots, even if they are in Berserker mode. Strand Suspension can temporarily hold Tormentors in place. Void Suppression Grenades and Arc Blinding Grenades will also be strong against Tormentors. The Anarchy can work really well against Tormentors, but it doesn't keep them in place. Swords will work pretty well, but leave you exposed to the Tormentors' melee and stomp attacks. With that being said, the Lament does work pretty well. The one thing that I've found most effective against Tormentors has been the Tractor Cannon. This exotic heavy shotgun comes with Repulsor Force, which pushes enemies away, suppresses their abilities, and makes them more vulnerable to damage for 8 seconds. And it works so well against Tormentors, completely stun locking them in place for several seconds, leaving them incapable of attacking or doing anything at all. And once the suppression effects start to wear off, just shoot them once more with the tractor cannon. Swap back to another weapon and continue damage because you've got yourself a completely immobilized tormentor waiting to get curb stomped. So if you really want to lay into these tormentors, pull out your tractor cannons and go to town. And with that, we've come to an end of today's video on the best ways to take down tormentors in Destiny 2 Lightfall. I hope these tips and tricks have helped you out and help along your journey. Thank you as always for checking out the video. If you enjoyed and found it helpful, then be sure to hit that like button below along with the subscribe button if you're new. Both are greatly appreciated and both really do help support the channel. And until next time, Guardians, this has been Profane, wishing you all some happy hunting.